Hi everyone, Steve Mastery here. I am going to go ahead and show you how to go about measuring your triangle windows just like the ones behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and ask and have to go ahead and help me with the first measurement. Your very first measurement is called measurement A, which is the entire width of the window. Since we're going to be treating those two windows as one big space, this would be your number one. The second measurement that you're going to be doing is the measurement, what is called the measurement B, which is the space above the window. And in this particular window, there is no space, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. Your third measurement is your measurement C. The measurement C is the space from the top of the window molding to the floor. I'm going to go ahead and just lean the tape measure right here along the window edge. And I'm going to just go ahead and measure all the way down to the floor. And that's my measurement C. Now, since this is a triangle window, you will have to make sure that you measure completely on the other side because there will be two different measurements. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. And we're going to go ahead and just lean it against the corner of the wall. And we're going to bring it down here and we're going to measure to the floor. Okay, so the third measurement that we just measured uh, will be provided in diagrams. Now, another thing that we also want to make sure that you provide us with is called the spaces that are on either sides of the windows. So if they are greater than 12, then you just write greater than 12. If they are less than 12, then you write in the diagram less than 12. So I have 12 in here, and I also have 12 on the other side. So we're going to leave that, and then if you want to go ahead and break the windows up, you will need two additional measurements. These measurements, again, will be the space that is going from the top of the window to the floor. So I will need this measurement right here. It's a little tricky, but we're going to get it. So here is 139 inches. But then I also will need one last measurement because this window is going at an angle. So I am going to need the shorter side of it as well. And this one is 137 inches. So for that reason is why we have to have those measurements so we can make sure the drapes are cut in an angle and they come out straight on the bottom. And uh, the last measurement would be very, very helpful is to have is just what's on the inside of the window. Again, this goes from the side of the molding to the side of the molding. We have provided you diagrams for all of these windows when you order our product and you'll be receiving one of these to make sure that you get everything taken care of. We made it really easy for you. Thank you for watching and you're welcome to visit our website and look at our diagram.